Hi, I'm Graham Potts. I'm one of the partners here at Three Counties Equine Hospital. We're a 12-vet equine hospital here on the Gloucestershire-Worcestershire border and we uh, do first opinion and second opinion equine work. Um, some of our uh, work involves um, surgical work, some of it medical work, and we have vets that specialise in these different areas. There, there are 12 vets here at the practice and they all specialise in different areas and hopefully you're going to see some clips of some of the different things that we do here at the hospital. So here we are in the bone scanning suite. This procedure is commonly known as bone scanning but its proper name is nuclear scintigraphy. Uh, what it means is that um, it's a technique that we can use to invest, again, another technique to investigate bony damage in a horse. Um, it may be that it's a racehorse that's gone lame suddenly uh, and we can't fi find the area of interest uh, by examination and possibly by x-ray. So we uh, employ the technique uh, of bone scanning. Um, there are other um, useful, uh, useful um, uses for it. For example, a horse with a sore back we may uh, suspect that it's got some kissing spines or some uh, articular facets in the back that are painful and so it's a useful technique for that. Basically it works by um, the horse is injected with a, a very safe and low level uh, of radioactive isotope uh, which is provided by a hospital um, and then the animal then will, uh, the body will take up that isotope and, and it will be deposited in bone in, and generally, largely in bone that's uh, inflamed or angry or remodeling. For example, old fractures or arthritis or where bone is rubbing on bone. Uh, those areas pick up a lot of the radiation and then the horse will admit that, emit that radiation and that needs to be picked up um, by a camera. Uh, if in the old movies you would have seen the Geiger counter that detects radi radiation, well the camera is effectively a Geiger counter. The computer then turns that information into a pretty image um, and the image is then assessed by the computer uh, and, and the computer can tell us where the uptake is at its maximum uh, and, uh, and the areas we may be interested in. Having got that information, we may then want to go back to radiography and take some x-rays of the area of interest. So. Becky will show us um, how this machine can be operated. Uh, the horse is in here for t two or three hours and sedated and this machine moves around the horse. You can see that uh, obviously a sedated horse will stand quietly um, and then the camera can be moved around the animal, up and down, over the top uh, to, get to pick up every area of interest. We may just be scanning one hind leg or one foreleg. We might be scanning both hind legs. We might be scanning the pelvis, the back, the neck, the head. Um, it may be that we need to scan the whole horse. So by moving this machine around the horse, raising the head up and down, tilting the angle, etc., we can pick up all the radiation that's been emitted from the animal and then the computer produces an image for us. It's very versatile, it's very quiet. Um, and, and the, the horse is usually quite accepting of it. Um, having had this procedure done, the horse then uh, it goes back to his stable, remains with us for approximately 48 hours until all that radioactivity is gone. Um, it's um, passed out in the urine and the feces and generally emitted. It's a very low level, it is safe, but health and safety says we must keep them here for two days. Obviously the staff have to protect themselves by wearing lead gowns and gloves in the same way as one does with x-rays um, and the horse uh, is, is at no risk from this procedure at all. The radiation levels are extremely low.